Hey everybody, it's Curtis. Uh, I'm here today, I'm going to open a Toy USA 2011 Funko Pop mystery box. This was a total impulse buy. I don't normally do mystery boxes over 50 bucks. And this one was about four times that. So I figured if I get something good, I wanna document it. Um, so if you're seeing this, I probably pulled something pretty good if I thought it was worth posting on YouTube. Um, I've seen a lot of people and I just enjoy watching these um, unboxing videos. So I wanted to do one too. Why not? Just add to the to the sea of unboxing videos out there. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Um, I had to do several practice runs for this, but you know, this is gonna turn out how it turns out. So I'm just gonna open this. Um, I got box 92. Um, yeah, so let's open it. And I picked 92 because that's the year I graduated high school. You get to, uh, <laughs> I'm old. You get to, uh, when you order these, a lot of times they'll have a uh, choice between one and a hundred. I think this one was between one and 190. Um, yeah, so let's see if I chose wisely. Let's see, and then typically people don't look. So we've got peanuts on top. Oh, it's a box in a box. Let's uh, let's take care of that. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> it smells like someone's basement. <laughs> and from the pictures I've seen online, it looks like someone's basement. <laughs> okay. Box in a box. Now, let's open the second box. Wasted so much money on this. Okay. Some plastic wrap. Tape. Uh, all right, nothing is in a protector of any kind. Oh no, wait, one is in a protector. So I'm going to do the three non-protector ones first. Let's see, what did I get? Oh, Ka from the Jungle Book. I always like this one. It's got some um, scuffing on the window. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I think this is a vaulted pop. Um, yeah, I don't have any. I'm not a Disney collector really outside of Toy Story. Uh, I like Toy Story, but uh, there's that one, Ka from the Jungle Book. So let's do the next one. Let's see if I get this pointed the right way. Oh, FYE exclusive Michael Myers. I think this was a fairly new pop that came out around last Halloween, uh, Halloween 2018. Um, not really, I don't, I'm not a big horror collector. So I'll put that one over there. Okay. I think I've got this down with which way they're facing. There's a sticker. Okay, let's do this. Okay. US agent. I have never heard of this pop. I don't collect Marvel. <laughs> it's a kamikaze exclusive. No clue. I, no clue. Okay. Last one. This one's in a protector. So it may come out backwards. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Marvin the Martian. Thousand Pieces San Diego Comic-Con 2017. This is actually one I've been wanting to get for a while. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. This one came in a protector. Um, very cool. I like that one. So that was it. There's nothing else in the box. Um, as far as value, I have no clue. Um, let me see if I can look that up and I will be right back. Okay, I looked all these up on, I use Stashpedia. I know a lot of people don't like it, but 
they have an app, it's handy on my phone. I looked up some values. Um, the first one I pulled was Ka from the uh, Jungle Book. Uh, that one is valued at $42. Uh, the next one I pulled was US Agent Kamikaze Exclusive. That one wasn't worth a lot, uh, $17 according to Stash. Um, so next was Michael Myers and that's a newer pop, but Stash had it at $24. And this was the big winner. Uh, this was the uh, Marvin the Martian Neon Pink Limited Edition 1,000 pieces, um, $120. So I'm really happy. I've been wanting to get Marvin the Martian for a while. Uh, so grand total, I did math on my calculator, and that brought it to just over $200, $204. So I definitely got my value on this box. Um with shipping, I think it was two sixteen, but still, I mean, guaranteed value was only a hundred dollars, and I'm really happy that I broke even. So there will probably be a couple of these I'm going to sell or trade. Um, not Marvin; he's going to go right into my collection. So, anyway, that's my first unboxing video. I may do more, I may not, but I thought it was worth it to show what I got in the uh, Toy USA 2011 mystery box. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, maybe we'll see you again soon.